Hello, quilt people. <laughs> How you doing today? I am pretty good. Um, got a little friend here, and I thought we could have some fun just doing something different other than just a regular quilt project, okay? So I made a little pattern. It's available as always, and people are always like, where can I get this pattern? Where can I get this pattern? It's always on my website, <laughs> quiltingcowboy.com. Just hit the shop tab, and you can either download patterns for free or pay for them and um, download them at home and print them at home. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. As you know, me and my family are slightly dog obsessed. <laughs> We've got one on my hat. Um, and so, yeah, let's get started. And don't worry, I'm not gonna make this one um, sing or rap. <laughs> I don't know what's with me. <laughs> Once you print out the pattern, get all of the front pieces, right? This is front, front, front. It says right here, front, torso. All right, back ear, all right, back foot. Okay, so just get the front pieces and then get some tape and we're gonna put them together. Now there's registration marks or lines here in different colors and you just have to line them up and then put the pattern together. Okay, let me grab some tape. Okay, so the page that's gonna go on top needs to be trimmed and what you do is you just cut off the portion here so that the printing goes all the way to the edge. If you try and line it up here, there's no printing on the edge, so that makes it really difficult to then gauge. Whereas if you remove that, now you can line up, in fact, I'm gonna do it on this side too, so you can see exactly where the lines go to right here. It makes it a lot easier because again, the printing now goes all the way to the edge. Lining up those registration marks is super simple. All right. Oh, I hope this is not double-sided. Let's see. Oh, we're good. Okay, then just tape that down and secure that in place. And then we're just gonna keep doing that all the way around. All right, so the front is together. I think that's looking pretty good. I taped it so that it's pretty much a solid piece. And now I'm gonna move on to the back, get all my back pieces and essentially do the same thing. For the fabric, you're gonna need about a yard. Essentially what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your fabric, fold it in half, right? And if at all possible, if, it, if your um, fabric is directional or has a pattern like this, try and match it up front to back so that when you cut it, the, um, it'll line up. So I'm just lining up my stripes here and making sure that they're as close as possible to what I need. And then I take my pattern piece, put it down here, and then just cut it out. I've cut it out, and so now we're gonna see how successful I was with my cutting, you know how it goes. So, we're gonna remove this, and see if we can uh, lift these two pieces out of here. Now again, make sure that you cut the pieces, right, back to back, there's two layers here, and let me just see. Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I've gone to the gym. <laughs> When I was doing this, my arm was cramping. I'm like, really? Oh my gosh, it's only been, what, two weeks? Anyhow, um, it's very sad. You know, you work for so long to try and get in shape and it's just it just disappears right before your eyes. All right, just cut this out wherever you need to kind of get it where the rolling blade didn't. All right, so I managed to liberate that from the rest of the fabric. <laughs> and so now I have my two pieces, right, that are in fact mirror image of one another. And now we're gonna just put them aside and repeat the same thing on the front parts. These were the back. Okay, you can tell by the little tail. Okay. Okay, from the front sections, what we're essentially gonna do is see this little notch right here, that's a dart, right? We're gonna put it face to face like this 
and sew those two pieces together, right? See that little V? Close it, close the V, flip it over, and then just run a straight stitch with a four, uh, quarter of an inch seam allowance right here, okay? So one more time, just with that little notch right there, fold it, and then run the seam right along there, okay? So now from the front of him, he has this little dart right here in his butt, right? And that's true on both, both, both pieces, right? So then what we're gonna do is flip it over and essentially iron this. You may have to clip this a little bit, just right there. Essentially allowing you to press this open, right? Okay, so let's do that on both sections. All right, still working with the front sections. We're gonna put them face to face. Da -da -da. Ooh, wrong way. <laughs> and now that they're face to face, what we're gonna do is essentially, see this notch in the top of his head? You are going to, let me show you, sew from right here, right? And then just keep coming, trucking along here until you get to this little opening of the dart, all right? Just skip over it. Don't sew down into the dart. Just skip over it and keep on trucking down this way here. And then you're gonna sew all the way down the front of the body just to this point here, right? So you are essentially sewing, let me show you, from here to here skipping over and leaving this open, okay? So along here, down the front of the body, down to here. Got it? It's like I was talking about in my last video, <laughs> like <laughs> the present world actually is just a reflection of what's going on in your mind. So clearly I'm a mess in my mind right now because my studio is a mess. <laughs> uh, don't look at this. <laughs> Anyhow, um, you're going to, like I said, just grab those pieces, all right, from the top of the head section right here, face to face, and sew down to that first dart. Okay, here we go. All right, this is the part I really wanted to show you. I've gotten down to that dart, and I'm just going to sew to finish it, all right? And then I'm gonna lift the foot you don't have to cut the thread, right? Just make sure that there's no sewing in and around this dart and then put it back down where the fabric picks up again and keep on going. All right, that's done. I'm just gonna clip out the thread that's left here kind of in this dart that away. So again, I went down to the bottom of the butt ending right here, not sewing across the bottom, just straight down and ending, all right? All right, so we have our two pieces together, right? It's totally flat. What you're gonna do is pull it apart, <laughs> like that, and then that dart that we just missed, right? You're going to, okay, see this is, it's almost like a little mouth, right? You're going to line those up. I would um, put a pin right here where the intersection is, and then just sew that up here and then down there. Be careful, don't do it too um, straight. Try and curve this one a little bit, otherwise the mouth will be super like oh. <laughs> So try and curve it a little bit and then again, so from here, right, you just open that up and then look at it this way and then draw like a little semi, or excuse me, sew a little semicircle across here, all right? All right, so we're kind of done with the front sections for now. You can see that last one we did created kind of almost this mouth, right? And now you have the ears that are coming up this way, right? It's starting to take shape, okay? So that last scene was just closing up kind of the nose area, all right? Now, taking the back. What I kept calling the tail is actually, in fact, an exaggerated dart. And what you're going to do next is treat this tail section like a big dart, right? So close, Take that, right, and we're gonna be closing up this little gap right here, or dart. And so we're going to just fold that over and then sew along here, all right? All right, that's done. I'm ready to actually sew down the back side in the same manner that we did the front, but what I'm gonna do is measure about a three and a half inch gap that we're gonna leave open, all right, so that we can turn it inside out. 
All right, so I'm just going to mark about three and a half inches there, here to here, and I'm going to start sewing from, excuse me, that's in my mouth, um, down the back, right, and then stop where this is marked, right, and then sew again from here down to the end of the butt where next to we did the dart, okay? Okay, so as you can see, I have sewn from the little tail section here, right, up to here, left this part open, and then continued on and then just ended up at the crown of the head. All right, here's where it gets interesting. So you have the back pieces and you're going to open that up and then you're gonna take the front pieces. And what I do is I start with this seam at the center of the front of the head and this seam, right? And putting them right sides to right side so I have wrong sides out and then I'm just going to, first of all, start with the seam at the top of the head so that I know that that part is exactly lined up. Do the same thing on the bottom with the center seam. And then you're just going to pin it carefully all the way around the perimeter and get ready to sew it. All right, he's really starting to take shape. And you can notice here where maybe you didn't cut your arms or ears exactly the same. Like see how this one here is a little bit longer than this one here. You may want to go and trim that up. Not a big deal if it doesn't bother you, if you can kind of ease that in. Um, so now we're ready to sew the entire perimeter with the exception of these darts here in the feet. Okay, don't sew those closed. Again, like we did with kind of the mouth. Just sew to here and then leave this open as a gap and then pick it up on the other side. Okay? Here we go. <laughs> All right. Pull that out. Move the pins if you haven't already. And let's see what we got to work with here. Be so cute. Okay, let's go and try and um, press open these seams, right? Like you do in fashion as opposed to quilting where you put them on one side, right? Just to open it up. All right, let's do that and then see if there's any easing, right? Little snips that need to be done um, around any really tight areas. Also, ooh, double check that you have enough seam allowance going all the way around, I'm getting a little, little thin right here, right? That's making me nervous. So I may do a second pass on that. And then in the same manner that we did the mouth dart, we're gonna do the little feet darts, right? They're still open, right? So then pull it apart. I look really tired today. I don't know why I've been doing nothing but sleeping and sewing. <laughs> and um, again, right, once you have it top seam, bottom seam like this, pin uh, like you would normal quilt intersections. And then again, don't sew it too straight. Try and get a little bit of an arc as you sew this across, okay? All right, here he is. Or maybe it's a she, I don't know. <laughs> the darts and the feet are done, that's closed. So now I'm ready to turn them inside out. We have this three and a half inch hole, remember that we left there? And so we just, Turn it right side out. Da -da. All right, just about got them turned the right side out. And then the next thing we're gonna do is just sew down the ears, right? Because you don't want stuffing to go into the ear, you're going to run a little seam from one corner of the ear to the other, which is essentially gonna be from, right? from here to here, just like that, and like that, right? So that his ears will remain floppy and not full of stuffing, okay? Now we do reverse liposuction. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I cracked myself up. Um, all right, and so we just add all the batting and then make sure that you don't put too much in the joints of the arms and the legs so that they can remain, you know, so that they can move back and forth. But yeah, that's essentially it. Then we're gonna put some embroidery thread on the nose and put some buttons for the eyes. And that's pretty much it. All 
And there you go. <laughs> so fun. Um, so yeah, just stitch up the back and then put some buttons for eyes. And then if you want to do a little nose, you can either with, uh, I did embroidery thread on this one, uh, but something just to kind of indicate where the nose is. You can leave the mouth because there's actually a seam there and it, you know, that makes sense. But yeah, I love this one. He's so cute. And he matches the back of this quilt. Woohoo! <laughs> so you can just do it. I mean, anytime you have like a yard of fabric, and you don't know what to do with it. Shablam. So I hope that that was great for you. It was super fun for me. And the pattern is available where? On my website. Where? Under the shop tab. <laughs> if you still can't find it, I can email it to you or whatever. Um, but I am going to ask for $5 for each one of these. I know normally try and give them away for free or whatever else I can, but I'm going broke. <laughs> Support an artist. <laughs> Anyways, uh, as always, I appreciate your support. If you want to um, go to my website, quiltingcowboy.com, you can sign up for alerts and um, other things that we're doing and product launches. So I hope you're doing well. Stay safe. Oh my gosh, everyone. Um, take care of one another. See what you can do to help your neighbors, friends, families, and um, we will see you next time. Okay, bye.